What's up YouTube? This is Barnun11970. Thank you as always for watching my video. Alright guys, I want to do a little bit of a clarification video from something I made yesterday about trying to debunk the uh, fake snow theory that was going around the internet and got pretty viral. Um, one of the videos I made was talking about the black soot, that it's actually not coming from the actual snow, it's coming from the light, the heat source, whether it be a match or a lighter, a torch, whatever people are using. The only unfortunate part was that the couple of items I grabbed ended up all being plastic. So people were saying, well, the fake snow is made of plastic, that's what's causing it. I want to prove that the black soot is not coming from the actual snow or plastic. It's just what is coming out of the flame. The It's the soot. So if you've ever had a chimney fireplace, a hot stove, an oil burner, you'll see all that black soot. That is not from chemtrails or anything like that. It's just what happens with fire. So I'm going to show you guys. Here's here's some metal. So I'm just going to take a lighter, and you see, see how it's turning black. Now that's not the metal itself, because watch. I'll wipe it off. See, it's on my finger. So it I'll even do with glass. Now it might be harder to see, but I'm going to show you that it's actually the residue that's coming off the flame. Now, I don't know if you could see that, but see how it's turning black. And again, I'll wipe it off. So it is not the actual snow. So I have a snowball here that I took from outside my front yard. And I'm just going to show you guys by lighting it. What the fuck? Um, what the fuck? Let's grab this outside. What the... Are you guys see... No, hold on. Is it maybe the lighter? What the fuck was that? Jesus Christ. Why is it lighting up? I, I hope you guys can see this. Jesus Christ. What the fuck was that? Do you see that? <sighs> Holy shit, that thing friggin' went up in flames. What the fuck was that? <sighs> um, I don't know if you guys saw that or not, but, um, I don't know what the hell that was, so. Um, thanks for watching the video. was that? Let me burn my hand. Do you see that? Hey guys, if you're still watching, especially my subscribers, um, I want you guys to know that there's a purpose behind this video that I made. Um, that actually was not an accident or chemtrails or anything like that. I actually poured a little gasoline on the snowball to prove a point. Now, obviously, if you're watching this far, you're one of the few people that actually pays attention. I also wrote it in the description uh, below in this video. So if you saw that, you would know. Before you comment, and if you've commented already um, exposing what I'm doing, just delete it and write I can't believe the snowball caught on fire. Because what I want to prove is, is how easily people can be deceived and led in a certain direction of an agenda just by something you may see, read, or hear. And it might be somebody that you trust. For example, a Lindsay Williams and Alex Jones, or somebody like in mainstream media that you see an image on the television and you think, wow, because I saw that, it must be real and it must have happened the way they're showing it and that's what people like magicians and politicians they count on it's all about deceiving and unfortunately even in this truth or community there's a lot of people out there who will just believe anything they see they will not research they will not ask questions a lot of people will not read the descriptions of videos will not watch videos to the end and you'll be able to tell who did that so to my subscribers, I'm not trying to lie to you. I'm not going to do this all the time. This is a one-time thing just to prove a point that people can be easily led. 
And if you don't learn how to research things, how to question things, even from somebody that you may trust, you're never going to know if the person is being honest or even if they've just made a mistake or you heard or saw something differently than you might have thought it was or somebody might have said something in error, if you just take somebody's word for it, you're going to be easily led. And if people share this video with the intent of saying, oh, look, see, Chris was wrong because there must be chemtrails because the, the snowball went on fire, it's going to show that, one, they're easily deceived, two, they don't read descriptions and videos, three, they didn't watch this to the end, and four, they are somebody that will never question things and just assume that it meant that there was something evil going on. So there is a method to this madness. So for any of my subscribers to get offended, all I can do is apologize. And I'm sure you'll understand why I'm doing this. Because I want people, and I've said it in numerous videos, you have to do your own research. You have to question things. Even if it's somebody you trust. Because it's not always the case that they're lying to you. But they can make mistakes. And at the very least, you want to be responsible for what you decide to follow, believe in, not believe in, whatever. So hopefully this will be a learning lesson. So if you're one of the people that watched this to the end and know what really happened, just leave a comment saying, I can't believe that snowball went on fire. And I want to see where this goes. Hopefully there'll be plenty of smart people that get this. But I promise you, if you come back to this video a few times and read the comments, you're going to see people that were blown away by a thinking that a snowball actually went up in flames because that's what they saw. So there's a quote that I'll say from a Star Wars movie that says, your eyes can deceive you. Don't trust them. So, thanks for watching, guys. And don't be a follower. Be an individual. I'm doing this to help you all understand that you're responsible for what you do, don't do, believe, not believe. If you want to just go blindly with blind faith, that's how so many people will take advantage of you. Alright, guys. Love you all. Appreciate you watching. Peace.